This is an overview of the Climatics mobile application. Before we start, make sure you have your Wi-Fi stick plugged into the controller. This is a secure point-to-point -point connection that will allow you to apply your preferred configuration to your setup. Let's get started. First, select New Setup. Then, at Siemens Configuration, tap Start Configuration. First pick which type of device you are setting up. For this example, we'll select RTU Configuration. There are three options to start. Configure New Setup, Configure from your favorites, or Import Configuration. First, select Configure New Setup. Make sure that you have your Wi-Fi stick plugged into the controller before we continue. This is a secure point-to-point -point connection that will allow you to apply your preferred configuration for setup. This screen shows you what that should look like. When ready, tap Continue. Here, you'll see three steps listed to connect your mobile device to the Wi-Fi stick. Tap on Wi-Fi Settings first, which takes you to the mobile device Wi-Fi Settings, where you connect to the SSID named Siemens Wi-Fi Stick. Once your device is connected to the Wi-Fi, return to the Climatics mobile app and select Continue. It's time to log into the actual controller you are configuring. This secure login page allows you to connect to and access the controller's configuration. Input your controller credentials and tap Connect. Once logged in, there are two RTU options for this example. We'll select Standard Conventional. From this point, you have step-by-step -step guidance to complete the configuration, starting with Step 1, Zone Monitoring. Here, you'll select which room unit is being set up. The QMX3 point P74 and QMX3 point P70 both have temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide sensing. However, the P70 does not have a display, indicated as no HMI. Once you've selected a unit, choose a default schedule. The options are 24-7, 5 day, or 7 day. The 5 and 7 day schedules are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Once a unit has been selected and scheduled, tap Finish Temperature Monitoring. Next, select Fan Configuration. If you've selected traditional stage blower fan, it is predetermined on D06, with the optional fan feedback on DI1. As the feedback is optional, simply tap it Choose None if you do not need it. If you've selected Variable Speed Fan and you use a Climatics VFD, select Yes for Modbus Drive. You'll notice this example showed an error because we are not connected during this demonstration. You should not see an error when connected. Now select Configure VFD. There are several adjustable parameters for controlling your VFD, though the default settings we see here typically don't need to be changed. If you like what you see, tap Confirm Settings. Now that you've selected a fan type, tap Finish Fan Configuration to move on. Step 3 is Cooling. There are three cooling compressors configured. If you only have two stages, you can remove one by swiping left to delete. Next, select the menu icon at the top right. Here, you can select the duration of the on delay, minimum on, and minimum off delay, as well as economizer delay in case you want your compressors to overlap a little with economization. The default settings will work for most cases, adjust as needed, and then select Save Settings. There's also an option to add a capacity input. Tap the arrow to the right to open the menu. Add the compressor's horsepower, and the app will automatically calculate the energy consumption in the background. For this example, we'll close out without setting it up. When done here, just tap Finish Cooling Configuration. Next step, select Heating. There are two stages set at default DO locations. Feedback can be set optionally by tapping the area to the right and selecting the location. We won't select a feedback for this example. Once again, tap the menu icon at the top right to set the delay. We'll leave it at default for this example, and tap Save Settings. You can delete unneeded heating stages the same way you delete unneeded cooling stages, by swiping left. And finish by tapping Finish Heating Configuration. The fifth step is Configuration. Once selected, you see five options. Tap Sensors. There are default I.O. placements for mixed, discharge, and outside air temperature, as well as air humidity. There are pre-configured terminations based on the kit we provide. 
You can enable the return temperature or humidity with the toggle switch at the right, then selecting a location. For this example, we'll leave those off. To dial in the calibration of the sensors, tap the top right menu icon. Here you can adjust all of your sensors in case something is off a couple of degrees. Let's leave these as is and tap Save Settings. Then confirm sensor setup by tapping Save Sensors. Next is Economizer mode. Tap to open. Single enthalpy is a preset here to match the sensors provided in our RTU kit. To use a different economizer mode, simply tap to select it. You can configure your shutoff set points based on GPS location or manual settings. If you do it based on GPS location, the application will look up a climate zone that you are in and automatically download those parameters, otherwise you can manually adjust the temperature setting. For this example, we'll set it to 68 degrees. When you're happy with your selection, tap Finish Economizer Mode. Third is Damper Actuator. Tap to open. If you don't have a damper actuator, just tap None. For this example, we are using a modulating damper. With that selected, the preset locations look great, so this is all set. Tap Save Damper Configuration. Next is the exhaust fan. If your setup has an exhaust fan, you would add it using the plus symbol and then choose the appropriate inputs and outputs. For this example, we don't have an exhaust fan, so just tap Save Exhaust Fan Configuration and move on to number five. Then select Demand Control Ventilation to optimize your indoor air quality. This will automatically be configured with the QMX3, P74, and or the P70 room unit sensors. To fine tune the carbon dioxide measurement in parts per million, tap the right menu icon. Here, you can adjust your set point in DCV min-max settings. We'll leave it at the defaults for this example and tap Save Settings. Then tap Save DCV Configuration. And finish up the configuration by tapping Finish Economizer Configuration. The sixth step is safeties. You can see here the clog filter switch preset to DI2. This is preset to match the differential pressure switch in our RTU kit. You can enable any of the other options provided you have IOs available. To enable an option, slide the switch to the right to toggle it on. It will turn green and allow you to select a location. When enabling multiple safeties, we suggest setting locations in numerical order to keep better track. Once your safeties are set the way you want, tap Save Safeties at the bottom. The final step is connectivity. Climatics IC Cloud connectivity is automatically enabled. The activation key will be automatically read from the controller, and the distribution key is specific to the distributor or contractor who is installing the equipment. If you're not using Climatics IC, you just disable the selection and the controller will not connect. If it looks good, tap Finish Connectivity Configuration. Once through the seven steps, tap Configuration Overview. Scroll through and check that all inputs and outputs are correct. We provide a printout of the default configuration with the controller, or you could print this out, laminate, and mount inside the unit for anyone to see at a glance. Now, let's proceed to save our configuration as a favorite, which makes it easier and faster to repeat this setup if you have multiple RTUs that are identical. First, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi or data network as you save these settings with some additional details. Under Address, Tap the compass arrow and your location will automatically fill in if your GPS is on. Fill out the location or custom name. In this example, we'll say Bren's Pizza. Further down, you can add a photo of the unit, serial number, or building as reference for yourself or another technician. The more info saved, the easier your job becomes. Though, for this example, let's skip the photo and notes and tap on the star below to make this configuration a favorite. Finally, tap Save Configuration. Now you're back to the home screen, and you see the Bren's Pizza configuration. Any configuration you mark as a favorite will show up on the home screen. When you tap Bren's Pizza and select Standard Conventional Configuration, you can view the configuration setup. There's also a button that allows you to email the configuration to someone else, so they can view or load the same configuration. To do this, select the Configure from Favorites or Import Configuration option at the RTU Configuration step near the beginning of this video. As you can imagine, simply loading this saved configuration repeatedly for all similar units can drastically cut down on installation time. And that's it. Hopefully you find this app easy to use and contact us at any time with questions.